Well, you may have already filed your taxes, and if you are expecting to get a refund, when will you get it? Well, 12 News' Jade Valexa has the answers and how one woman plans to spend hers. Jade? The IRS has already started accepting your tax returns. That means chances are you could already be spending your tax refund. Tax refunds are often a welcome sight after the headache of filing those taxes. Deborah Jackson got a few thousand dollars last year. It helped her sell her home. I was able to update the roof that I moved from, uh, brand new. Okay. Yes, indeed, that was helpful. This year, she plans to use her refund for a vacation. I would probably take a nice long vacation this year, go on a cruise. Before Jackson went to a tax preparer, she was filing her own returns, not seeing a refund. She found a benefit in hiring someone. The main thing is, if you don't know, go and see a reputable tax preparer so that you can be aware of the things that you can claim so that you won't miss out on getting a refund. You could be leaving money on the table. Now, the IRS issues most refunds in less than 21 days. That's when you e-file. But if you've mailed your return and it's been more than six weeks, you should contact the IRS. Now, if you claim the earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit, your refund may be on hold. That's because the Protecting Americans from Tax Hikes Act doesn't allow the IRS to issue refunds before mid-February with those credits. The IRS says you can expect your refund the first week of March. And if you want to keep track of your refund, there is an IRS to go mobile app you can download right to your cell phone. You can also go to our website, WJTV.com, to find out how to keep up with your state refund. In the studio, Jade Belexa, 12 News.